I was very skeptical that uh, whether should I give it or not and uh, I got really demotivated with the outcome I got without preparing because uh, I was very raw at that time and I did not uh, know that uh, what is the requirement actual requirement of IELTS Hello everyone very good afternoon very good evening very good morning from wherever you are joining even if you are joining from a different time zone This is Lav Kumar Gupta, and I'm talking from PW IELTS and TOEFL Prep. And uh, today we have Pail Dongle with us, who has successfully scored seven bands from the IELTS test. Over to you, Pail. Uh, I would want you to introduce yourself and tell us that uh, what made you think of uh, moving abroad, and what made you think of taking IELTS. Sure, sir. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone. This is Payal Dungbe. I am from Nagpur. Currently, I am in my final year of my bachelor's degree in computer application. Uh, I am planning to pursue my master's in computer science from Germany, for which I required uh, to give IELTS, and uh, that is the reason why I chose uh, physics while IELTS prep. Okay, that's great. So, as far as the uh, preparation for IELTS is concerned, Payal. Uh, managing time and uh, giving proper time to every module sometimes becomes a tedious task so how did you manage your time effectively so that uh, you could reach this uh, seventh score uh, i think it varies person to person because uh, for me comparatively uh, speaking and uh, writing modules were difficult uh and uh, i was good in reading and uh, listening module so i gave a lot of importance to uh, listening and reading mod- module so that i don't get lower marks or there are lesser chances chances that i get lower marks in the modules which i'm good at so uh, i practiced in writing and uh, speaking module as well uh, but uh, i knew that fact that i was a quite weak person in these modules so um, i gave comparatively uh, la- uh, less time to what we can say uh, the weaker uh, modules and uh, i paid uh, more attention to the modules which i was in good mm-hmm. great 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 and you have scored a perfect 7 score right so what what was your strategy your personal strategy to prepare for ielts uh, to reach again that seven score uh few tips and tricks i learned in my journey were uh keeping occupied keeping yourself occupied in an english environment so um, i i did not uh, shift it to a very different environment i used to continue what i was doing earlier but i just changed the mode uh i was watching netflix uh just like always but i shifted to uh watching netflix uh in english with different accents uh, accents and um, i tried uh, reading newspapers uh, every morning i know it sounds very boring and uh very tedious task to like hold newspaper and uh, sit at one place and read it like uh, 30 to 40 minutes but uh, it was a game changer for me uh, because i felt like uh, ielts requires uh, a formal tone of english so uh, i earlier started from novels but i realized the tone of english was very informal in novels so i sh- then shifted to newspapers and uh, then i uh, started reading newspapers daily for a month uh and it really helped me to increase my vocabulary uh, which is really an important aspect of ielts because lexical resources is one of the important part of uh, ielts modules so um reading newspaper helped me increase my lexical resources which i can say and another thing is that uh you have to be in touch with the language only uh, mm-hmm. taking from the language is uh, not solely very uh, helpful you have to speak and you have to generate language it doesn't matter if uh, in what method you are doing it but yeah i uh, spoke in english with my mother for about a month uh, it was very difficult for my mother 
to like uh, communicate in english but yeah we tried a lot and uh, another thing is that uh, we uh, chat uh, in our daily lives so i shifted to chatting in english a bit and that also helped me a lot in my preparation because uh, it uh, gives you words in your mind instantly you don't have to think uh, once or twice while uh, speaking so it will uh, help you increase the speed of words when you think mm -hmm. great 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 very nice so apart from these uh, issues which we have just discussed that the uh, challenges which you were facing do you do you any do you remember any specific challenge which uh, help you uh, which would have hindered your uh, progress or which would have hindered your preparation or might have demoralized you at times yes uh, there were times when i was new to this whole concept of preparation for ielts uh, i came across with a few tests and i gave a few uh, tests of every module uh, just to check where i stand and uh, my score were not that great and i was very skeptical that uh, whether should i give it or not and uh, i got really demotivated with the outcome i got without preparing because uh, i was very raw at that time and i did not uh, know that uh, what is the requirement actual requirement of ielts so uh, generally students uh, do think that uh, uh, just giving one or two tests they accepted that uh, they don't have a uh, good knowledge of english or they are uh, not capable of uh, passing out the exam so this was one of the thing which really demotivated me and i would say that uh, uh, one should not consider the initial uh, scores of the test that you give uh you mm -hmm. should prepare you should start preparing first and then once you feel that you are ready to give the test then at whatever amount of time you have put in is uh, uh, like uh, is beneficial in the test uh, and how much uh, more efforts you have to put in the exam or in the preparation so that you you can get to your dream score so uh, this is one of the thing which i faced uh, in my preparation Correct, correct, correct. I clearly remember that uh, you were initially not able to cope with the writing, uh, reading module, right? And you were scoring yes. very less as far as the requirement yes. is concerned. But uh, in the final exam, you have got perfect seven in reading, right? So, what was your yes. strategy to overcome the reading anxiety that you had and uh, the less scores which you were getting in the initial phase of preparation? Yes. uh as i have already mentioned it that i uh, before even preparing for the exam i gave test for all the modules and uh, the lowest score i ever got was in reading module which was re really disheartening because uh, we have assumed that as a student we have assumed that yeah we have studied the same pattern in our uh, board exam so it's nothing more dif uh, different than this but it is actually different than that in that and um, uh, one thing which i really felt was that practice is the key practice you have to practice all the time and you have to practice smarter so that you can get your uh, dream score so uh, when i was preparing for my reading module one thing which i did was that after the, knowing the fact that i was weak in reading module i used to uh, before uh, starting the uh, test of reading module i used to set timers that uh, this question needs 5 minutes the other one needs 10 minutes so i used to put timers in individual passages so uh, reading module was of three parts three passages were uh, used to be there so i used to divide them in 20 20 20 section and i used to put a timer of uh, 20 minutes each to the passage and then i used to uh, start uh, finding the answers and um, uh, this helped me a lot because when you know you have 20 minutes to solve this passage uh you automatically uh, start reading faster and faster you automatically uh, increase your speed and uh, your co comprehension speed also increases so you uh, skim and uh, 
you get your answers faster than uh, earlier like uh, mm. i used to when i was preparing i i felt like uh, something was missing out i felt like uh, that uh, there should be a trick or something that needed it to be here so uh, this was the thing that filled the gap when i set timer it was uh one thing with reading module was that uh, one thing with reading module was that uh, more and more you read you will solve more questions and uh, you will get in contact with more words so mm -hmm. um um uh, while preparing for reading module i uh, i used to see different types of words and i uh, i and i used to get very demotivated because i don't know the meaning of this word how will i cope up with this how will i like, get to know my vocabulary is very short and uh, very specific with the topic so uh, different passages helped me a lot uh, i used my previous test passages and i uh, after scoring the exam i used to check which uh, in which passage i was uh, i did mistakes so after that i used to correct it and the things i followed in my reading module great 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 and uh, i wouldn't mind asking that uh, what was your favorite module by how to call those uh, to be honest my favorite module was because uh, uh, yeah here with respect to other modules because you just have to listen na and uh, and with the course of time since childhood we have listened to uh, english songs we have watched english movies we have uh, uh, in we have been in contact with different accents so it was quite easier for me to like uh, pass above uh, 35 marks out of 40 in listening module so yeah listening module was a fun part for me i never feared listening module that is a mm. thing right 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 talking of fear i remember that you were quite anxious uh, as far as your speaking module is concerned right you were quite yes. nervous like demotivated how will you perform how will the idea score what score would i get right so yes how how did you manage that anxiety and uh, how was your take on speaking module uh when it comes to speaking module every time i really want to thank you first because uh, this is the first time like even after completing the course a teacher has been in my contact and uh, he's been checking out time to time that how are you doing uh, what's the preparation going on and uh, how are you preparing so that really touched me and really it it had put a personal touch in all my preparation and it really boosted me because um, after our course completed uh, we used speaking session so i was ready with my speaking uh, sessions but i was very underconfident with my preparations i felt like uh, whether i will be able to make it or not or uh, will i uh, look very dumb speaking to the uh, interviewer or so so uh, then we contacted and then we had the speaking session in which i gained a lot of confidence confidence to speak and uh, confidence to present present my thoughts and uh, this has helped me not for the ielts but for my lifetime because uh, i was a person i was always good in english i can say that but i was not confident enough to speak in english out loud but now you can see the results yourself exactly. that Quite i visible. can speak fluently <laughs> yes 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 i have seen the vast right improvement in your speaking because the day when we started when you were speaking i can uh, speak fluently quite... yeah correct 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 yes so what 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 suggestion would you like to give to the students uh, pile who are often uh, anxious of their speaking uh yes one thing i realized in my journey was that as a personality i am an introvert and uh, 
like it is very difficult for introverts to like get out of the zone and to speak out loud and uh, to uh, ask for help this were the main things main hurdles i faced so one thing uh, which i would like to again thank thank you because the environment of the class was just different it was not like uh, you have to be strict and you have to like uh, totally in a student type of uh, environment it it was very free and i felt like very the vibe was very for me to ask anything any doubt so uh, i uh, was very difficult for me to ask the doubt i uh, used to uh, communicate with that yes i can speak and i can ask questions so first thing i would recommend everyone is to ask your doubts is to clear your uh, queries and uh, this will uh, not only help you in, with ielts but this will help you in other aspects as well so you have to speak when you have doubts and another one is that you have to be consistent uh, for the preparation i was in touch with the language and with the module throughout a month so i did not give a single day extra than a month but i but in a month i used to practice every day there was there was not a single day when i used to like give a leave or be uh, just myself so i used to practice every day uh, give i used to give tests and especially i used to practice the dpps the those were provided to me and uh, uh, you have to uh, be in touch and the patterns uh, react according to the requirement so uh, you have to focus on the the four aspects in ielts as we had learned so according to that i used to focus on that only so uh, it saved a lot of time and a lot of energy because uh, before preparing before joining the course i it was very difficult for me to understand the whole pattern and the requirement of ielts so yeah uh, i worked smarter with the requirement and it helped me so yeah these were the tips i can say <laughs> that's nice that's really nice so coming to an end i would want to ask you one more question so what suggestion would you like to give to the students who are going to appear for their test recently yes uh when i went to give the test uh it was a shocker for me uh, as soon uh, before like uh, enrolling in the exam or registering in the exam i never saw this type of exam that you have to give uh, three modules in a day and the uh, another module the other day so this was a banger for me and uh, uh after enrolling i got to know that this situation will happen so yeah this thing you have to like check while preparing you should check the in and outs of the exam like uh, how it will be conducted uh, at what time how many hours will be required for the exam speaking module will be taken like uh, what will be the process and uh, these questions should be cleared first so uh, it will help you after the preparations so you don't have to worry and you don't have to go on google and search every uh, how to prepare for speaking and uh, these were the basics of ielts and another thing you should be one step ahead of your preparation my scenario that uh, i had hyperhidrosis and i uh, faced a lot of uh, sweating uh, while i was in the examination hall and there were air conditioners everywhere so it was very uh, difficult for me to write in that freezing temperature because uh, already my hands were very sweaty and the air conditioner made it worse so you have to adapt the environment you have to act according to the environment so prepare yourself in every situation 
uh, before going to the exam i felt this was a really a game changer for me because when i came back i was very disappointed because my reading module went a little bit low because of this scenario i could have uh, um, like gained scored a better score than this so yeah this were my tips to like uh, score greater marks okay okay that's nice thank you so much so again uh, on a note that we are ending this podcast it was really wonderful talking to you pal and thank you for sharing your valuable insights i'm sure that uh, the struggles which you have faced would be relevant to so many people out there and the insights which you have shared with us would be valuable to them as well for their preparation and for their better skills right so on this note uh, let's call it a day and uh, maybe we'll be back again with some other podcast with some other success story till then god bless you all keep learning and uh, please take care bye 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 bye